My name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to be creating a watercolor cactus artwork with this art lesson. Grab your watercolor paints, a felt marker, and let's get started. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as it's hidden somewhere in this video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our watercolor painting of a cactus that is a really great art project that can provide um, you with an awesome decoration for your home, can look really great in an art gallery or display space, or it can be used for back to school. This is just some watercolor paper, but if you don't have watercolor paper, you can use something like cardstock or just find some thicker paper. Watercolor paper holds moisture a little bit better and you can really work on the surface a lot longer. I'm going to begin by mixing up my green paint. And I'm going to begin with the cactus body. So I'm going to create different sections on the cactus and I'm going to allow the paint to be a variety of concentrations to create value. So I'm going to do some curved strokes down on the page and anywhere that I want a little bit more value I pick a different I create a different concentration, a little bit of a thicker one, and then you can just simply add it in. Now, if you only have one green, you can add other colors to it to create different kinds of green and color variation. But if you don't, uh, sorry, if you do have other greens, then you can add those in as well. And that's going to create some visual interest having the different greens and colors on your cactus. Now notice how I'm leaving a bit of a white gap in between my shapes. I'm really making an effort to leave a thin line there. I don't want it to be a huge gap, but I do want there to be a gap, and that's where kind of those and that's where those needles or thorns are going to rest later. And if I let all this paint touch each other, I'm going to lose my shapes cuz then the water is just going to take over and it's going to want to equalize with the other water. So, I'm going to do my best to keep that separate. Okay, so I'm going to do one more on this side. And then we'll add the little arm and then add some other color on here. Now on this side, I'm gonna do, uh, maybe I'll do two. I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna do a mini version of what I just created. And we'll do one up here. Now we're ready to add some different colors. So I have a range of different colors on here. I do have another green. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that in here.
Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, and then I'm gonna add some cool colors. So I'm just gonna add some yellow here and there along the top to create some yellow green. And now I'm gonna add some blue. And I'm gonna add that along the bottom for some blue green. And that will help create some shading. And I'm also going to add some purple. And before I move on to the flower, I'm going to take a little bit of salt and sprinkle it on some of the areas. Because when salt dries on watercolor paper and paints, it adds a really cool texture. So we'll take advantage of that. we're going to draw some flowers. So we're going to just do an outline first. For where we want the petals to be. So we'll do three big and two small on either side of the top. And then we're going to just do three on these little guys. And once you're done drawing them, you can paint them in.
I'm also going to add a dot of purple just here and there. And we'll let it dry and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to let this dry and we'll come back and see what our cactus looks like before we add our final details. Once you're done letting it dry, you can rub off some of that salt and you can see how beautifully all of this has dried. Salt leaves amazing texture on your watercolor paintings. So we're going to now get started on adding some detail with our fine tip markers and white paint. Okay, so as we do this, we wanna make sure that we keep our hands really, really loose. And we're gonna just draw some contour lines very loosely over and around a lot of these details. And we just wanna add some texture. So we're just reinforcing all the shapes and letting our lines go loose and adding some loop-de-loose here and there to really add a beautiful texture and design to our drawing. And that crunching you hear is because every now and then I'm just drawing over a little grain of salt. I'm adding even some lines outside of the cactus itself. I just am really enjoying how it's creating texture. And sometimes you just gotta let the material speak to you. So you can do similar things to what I'm doing, but any time that the medium speaks to you, you should just go with the flow and experiment and see what happens. Okay, once you're done with your marker, you can set it aside and you can get a little bit of white paint. Now, the way I like to work is, I'm using acrylic for this, but you can probably use tempera paint as well. If you're in a classroom setting, just put a little tiny, tiny bit in a dish and a lot of people can share that. But if you're just doing this individually, I mean, we need such little that I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush into that paint as is. And now we're going to draw little white circles with the paint. And you can make them a little bit bigger as you work your way down the cactus.
Now I'm just doing one side of each of these shapes. I feel like it'll be a little bit too much if I do both sides. So I'm just picking one side that I want to add this nice little detail to. And once you're done painting all those dots, your beautiful cactus artwork is done. Hey there, I'm Kathleen McGivern, and I'm a professional artist, teacher, and the creator of Mizzertastic. As an artist, I create lowbrow artworks and have shown my work in both commercial and public galleries. I'm also Mizzertastic, and I create art teaching resources and art lessons for Artastic Nation. If you're an art teacher, educator, or art studio instructor, then this is for you. The Artastic Collective is a community where you can access a library of art resources and lessons created by me, Kathleen McGivern, or by the name you most likely know me as, Ms. Artastic. With your membership, you can access an art resource library with new resources being added to the community both weekly and monthly. This art resource library is made up of resources from my TPT store and resources that I create exclusively for the Artastic Collective. This will take care of your lesson planning, allowing you to have clarity for what to teach, the convenience of clicking, printing, and teaching immediately, direction for where to go with your year-long plan, and speedy lesson planning, which will allow you to have your freedom back. As well, you will get to engage with a community of other art teachers and instructors in the members only forum. In addition to this, you can get help from me and the other art teachers in the forum at any time or bounce ideas around and collaborate with other members. As well, you can join me for monthly question and answer live video conferences. I'll also host virtual meetups and provide you with monthly challenges to help you on your journey of success. Can't wait to see you there.